with Mr. Brasder. Can I call you Mr. Brasder? Is that okay? Of course. Similar to something else. I don't have a mic though. No, you don't. I just pass this to you. I mean, it's got a mic on top. Don't worry. Oh, you know, okay. I like this. It's a bit. Of, it means All this right. means I'm talking, Jake. and this means you're talking. I will, I will. I will not talk when the mic is not on me. I, I'm no, nah, blood. The coach they were talking about was the coach that came after me. That's because I knew those stories. Wunder has told me those stories. All right, it will pick up you from yeah. here. But anyway, Mr. Brasda, how's your meditation going? And then Boris meditation? came in. Yeah, I've heard you've uh, taken up meditation. Yeah, recently. I kind of stopped. Yeah, so, yeah, it's not really? going well. It's not going well. Not feeling well about it? No, it was like, it was fine at the start, you know. I was kind of doing it a long time ago. But now it's just, yeah, not anymore. Funny fact, actually, I mean, we've just met. My name's Jake, by the way. Nice to meet you. Nice you were you. born three days exactly after me, funnily enough. That's crazy. That is pretty crazy. March 14th, I was born March 11th. I wanted to ask you, do you think that it's our status as Pisces men that makes us certified, lo certified lover boys? Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, it is for sure in our blood. Like, mm. like us Pisces, for sure, are like, yeah. really attractive. Oh, 100%. Uh, I mean, you can yeah, see that. You can it's see. crazy. Yeah, so <laughs> I think I think there is something to it, yeah. For sure. I mean, with so many variable impossibilities present in the world, I wanted to ask you about your knowledge of epistemology, logic, and also metaphysics. Why do you think that, despite <laughs> the fact that we were born so close together, why do you think I'm the one interviewing you and not the other way around? Um, well, I mean, because you usually interview, like, famous people, right? Yeah. So me... Me being the famous person, mm. uh, and like, you know, that that's probably. That's so probably you, what you're saying, you're a big deal. Is what you're saying. Yeah, I mean, uh, that's kind. It's it's kind of like that, like this. I would never interview you because I'm like, you know, I'm like, I'm like just above, and then. Uh, oh, above me. Yeah, and then you need to interview me, and then maybe if you work your way all the way up to the best interviewer in the world, then maybe I can I can start interviewing you. So I'm a random, is what you're saying. I mean, I don't wanna, I don't wanna say say it, but uh, yeah, you, you said it so. for you. Yeah, yeah. Just making sure that's on. It's all on. Great. <laughs> um, did you know that beyond our shared astro astrological signs, we have another shared connection? I was actually the previous tenant at the place that you live. Really? I wanted to say, uh, do you still in, do you still enjoy the uh, speakers that I left you? The big speakers. Oh really? Uh, yeah, they are pretty good. I'm, yeah, I'm good. using them a lot. Still have the painting of the red lady as well. Yeah, 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 yeah she's there. She's there. Yeah, that's good that you kept on the place. That's pretty. That's pretty good. Yeah, <laughs> it's a nice little gift that I left you. You know. Ah, uh, thank you. One of the other things about Pisces men is, I mean, we've mentioned it a little bit. Here. Ferocious lovers. I mean, we're insatiable. When the carnal lust of the two-backed beast comes into play, we're the most insatiable of primates. With this knowledge, I wanted to bring to attention that surprising fact to some of the viewers that one of your favourite shows is Euphoria, isn't it? It is, yeah. <laughs> no elaboration on that, just plain simple fact. You like too hot to handle as well. You like, uh, you like, uh, you know, you like a teen drama. How do you know all of this? <laughs> I'm just that guy, to be honest with you. I'm just, I'm just him. Where does yeah, he I mean, say? Because we need to like know, Marek Vazdalini. We like have to know. For fun when I'm, <laughs> I'm guessing you're not Team Maddie because you like to play a lot of Cassie, don't you? Uh, <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I like Cassie more than, than Maddie. Yeah. I think she's hotter. I've got a quote from you here. Aren't they like 16 in the show? No, I, I don't, don't care about what whether Cassie did was wrong because she has big mommy milkers. Why did you say that? <laughs> because it's true. <laughs> What can I say? Yeah. What can I say? I mean, the man that lives by lives by the. the, the do I, I do have like microphones in in my house or something. No, don't worry. It's not that. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah. yeah okay, don't worry about it. You're, you're fine. Okay. Don't worry. Um, in preparation for this interview, I also spoke to someone else who knows you, knows you quite well. Do you, yeah. Does the name Pavel sound recognisable? Well, depends on which Pavel, I guess. I know. A lot. He's a bouncer at Club Tabarin in Borno. <laughs> I don't know that guy. Oh, you yeah. don't know him? He no. told me a lot about your misbehaviour. He said apparently you vomited vodka orange, which is your favourite drink apparently, onto a bartender's shoes. And apparently you also have an active tab for 9,000 karuna. <laughs> and he asked me, will you be paying it soon? Wait, what? That is not true. <laughs> you not? He's lying to me. No. There's not, there's not even a tab there. As Pavel. I have not vomited on anyone in the last, like, five years. I probably not even... So Pavel is just, he's lying. Fuck you, Pavel. What's wrong with you? Don't... <laughs> it's just horrible. There's a video of you getting a haircut with Freeze at the Bubalini Barbershop. I, I watched it on YouTube recently. Um, I watched it for about 20 minutes, and it's a very confusing video. Because 
somehow miraculously you got a haircut. You're the first person I've ever seen get a haircut, and your hair was the exact same before. <laughs> Have the exact same haircut for about 10 years. I mean, it's probably honestly because I have no idea what, what else to do with my hair, and this is just the, the only haircut I know yeah. that I can use. And then, yeah, I mean, I'm done to I'm done to switch it, but I have no idea like what should I do. So, yeah. I mean, it looks good. Thank well, you. I've got no hair under this, that's my secret. That's why I always wear a hat. So, you know, maybe you could give me a little bit of yours when you're not busy, you know, owning the stage. Yeah. Making that dollar dollar. You like board games in your downtime, don't you? You like to play a game called Wingspan, which is about birds. Um, do your <laughs> skills with Azir help you be good at this game? I liked it for like a few weeks and then it was kind of boring, so yeah, I don't really like it anymore. But uh, You've moved on. What have you moved on to? What's the new hobby? I don't really have a hobby right now, but I mean, we play Secret <laughs> after Secret uh, sometimes. Secret what? Secret <laughs> It's Secret Hitler, guys. Will I get banned for that? <laughs> like can't, talk about that. can't talk about that on the interview, mate. Yeah. Well, <laughs> I'd like you to explain what's happening in this image. <laughs> I don't actually remember where this is from, but I think it was... Your manager at the time tagged this saying that you were a party animal. <laughs> <laughs> I can't remember where this is from. It's a long time ago. I think this might be from like Turkey or something. It looks, yeah, I mean, I think it is during your time on Dark Passage, where yeah, they also, yeah, yeah. shout out to Dark Passage, they got you a pair of flowers when you joined the team, didn't they? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah they, did. they did do that, yeah. It was amazing, but That's this the is dumbest thing ever to do as a team, what the fuck? Yeah, what gift did you get when you signed with tonight? Because obviously you got a pair of flowers from Dark Passage. Uh, nothing, kind of, I mean, I'm still waiting. Uh, they should, I think they should give me a gift. What do you need, that, what's, the, what's the next step on from flowers? I could use, uh, like, a private... Jet. Pool. A pool. Yeah, private jet is also fine, but private yeah. pool, and, like they could build me like a pool at my house, that would be pretty good. Yeah, I mean, let's get on that fanatic. Come on, guys. Seriously. Um, I wanted to ask you what else is there? Something else here I've got. One second. <laughs> uh, someone that I know that plays Wingspan says that humanoid is here looks like Franklin's girl. I don't know what that means, but maybe you do because you play the game. What? Franklin? Franklin's Gull? I think it's a bird in the game. I have no idea what that is. Oh, Franklin's yeah. Gull. Well, that's a shit joke, isn't it? F fucking moron. <laughs> um, before you were schooling kids on the rift and becoming one of the most celebrated mid laners we know, you actually had a bit of difficulty in school, didn't you? You got hulled back a few years in high school at one point. Can you tell us about that? Yeah, I mean, I basically didn't really go there that much. <laughs> that was maybe the issue, because I kind of just skipped school and went to play League of Legends. It doesn't matter now, uh, yeah. though, does it? Yeah, it doesn't. It doesn't. So but would you like to advertise potentially to any children out there watching? Should they just stop going to school? Yeah, children, like, make sure you <laughs> skip school a lot and go play league. Thank you. That's an, uh, that's an approved message. That's, uh, we've got that out there. <laughs> Wonderful. That's pretty much everything that I require from you. It's been lovely speaking to you. You're generally speaking someone that I think is characterised as hard to crack. What does that mean? I think you're just a very... You, you know, you've got you keep your you keep your heart. You don't keep your heart in a sleeve. It's just all you know. It's all hidden behind. But I've gotten a little bit of a smile out of you, yeah, so I'm happy. Yeah. I mean, like, I'm just like really surprised how you know all this information. Well, you know, we've got to it's do crazy. it. Crazy. Your your Marek, and as Nardwell says, your Marek, we have to know. Oh, there it is. Know. There it is. <laughs> we wish you the best of luck. Um, you're going to be in Montpellier, eating lots of baguettes and croissants, hopefully, and having a lovely time. So we'll see you then. We like to say at the end of the interview, uh, just as a tagline, we say ruddy up. So if you don't mind. Ruddy up? Yeah. Three, two, one. Ruddy up. Thank you Boom. so much, bro. Actually Cheers. in sync. Have a That story with the, with the bar is not true, by the way. No, I made it up. It's a joke. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, what the fuck? But is he actually, do you have to post a bouncer from there? No, of course not. I made it entirely. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. That was brilliant. That was brilliant.